What is going on everyone? Might go back doing another box break. Today I'll be breaking one of my favorite products year after year. 2021 Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball. Super excited to get into this hobby box. See how I do. I just do it for fun. I know it's not necessarily the best product to break, but it's all about what you enjoy, what you have fun with. To me, love the base cards, love the minis. Put them in binders, sleeve some of them up, get some graded. Just kind of have fun with it. Definitely a lot of cool stuff you can buy on the secondary market as well. A whole bunch of cool stuff you can get. Each box contains three hits. You can get autographs, relics, rip cards, printing plates, book cards. Usually it's relics, but you never know when you break something. So we'll see how we do. Uh, for me, as a big Allen & Ginter autograph collector, I certainly always hope to hit at least one autograph. We'll see. You can also get hot boxes with some of the foil parallels. So that's neat as well. I believe they're box toppers. I know in the past they've done like the N43s. So we'll see what we get in here. And we got one oversized box loader card. So you got the oversized cards and then you get the smaller N43s. We got the makeshift Ginter break mat, even though it's not a mat, it's a tin. Uh, that was gifted to me from the Card Dreamer at the 2021 National. So thank you, Card Dreamer. Let's see what we got in the oversized box loader. And then we'll get into our packs. I believe we have 24 packs. All right, so we've got Clayton Kershaw, Brooklyn, New York, Clayton Kershaw. So very nice looking box loader. Not sure if these are the common box loaders. I believe there are autograph versions, at least in past years there have been. I haven't honestly watched any breaks of Ginter yet. Just got my hobby boxes in got a couple boxes so I figured I'd break one on camera have a good time with it haven't done any retail yet I know you can get some retail over on target.com pack number one Dylan Carlson rookie I like the look of them Floriel rookie Al Kaline Walker Bueller uh, first relic definitely not my first choice for relics, but Pardo, don't know a lot about him. Jimmy Pardo, an actor. Got a mini of the Marlins general manager. And then got the Mackerel Shark. Actually a pretty cool looking set. Some people really dig the Ginter Insert some people, not so much. Hit a couple rookies. Ginter Chrome last year was a beautiful product as well. They looked great. Joe Adele, definitely hitting some solid rookies. Billy Williams, Keuchel, Liam Hendricks, Tim Anderson, Jose Berrios, Larry Doby Mini, sweet mini. And... The Murad insert of my guy Joey Votto. Seem to always hit Joey Votto. Love the Larry Doby. You know, when I first was kind of getting myself reintroduced into cards, I hated the mini stuff because they were so hard to store, and now I just love them. My new appreciation over the years for... The history of baseball cards and tobacco minis has enhanced my ability to enjoy them, but also just realizing, and I talk about it a lot, there's a nice Lou Gehrig, Jan, just being able to store them. Mini soft sleeves or soft sleeve inserts into regular size top loaders definitely helps. They have the sheets for the mini cards. Here's birds of a feather, rose breasted cockatoo. They have magnetics, so I enjoy the minis. All right, moving on. Sonny Gray. 
Garcia, Stanton, Kevin Nagandi went to Temple University, same place I went to. He's a Philadelphia native over on ESPN. Yastrzemski, Matsui, Gunamini, Proxima B. Nice Albert Pujols, tops historical hits. Bryce Harper, Spain, Morgan, Marquez, Moustakis, Strasburg, a mini black parallel of Hook. So many variations. Here's the humpback whale. There are the higher number short of print cards as well, which I haven't been checking for. Eddie Murray, Kelly, Carlson, Bregman, Warren Spahn, Bradley Jr. So I think like Bradley, I think it's 301 and up, but I'd have to double check. Jackie Bradley Jr., Mini, and a Byron Buxton. In the past, I would send a lot of these off via TTM. I really haven't sent any TTMs off for quite a while. Not at all since the pandemic. Marquez, Spencer Howard, formerly of the Phillies. There's Pardo, Clemente, Springer, Mini, Craig Biggio. You got the Blue Spruce. And just like that, a third of the way through the box. Duke Snyder, Giolito, Dawson, Coke, Whit Merrifield, Urias, the Sahara Desert, and Ozzy Smith. All right, let's get started with the middle section. I like the packaging, once again, really nice packaging. Nice clean cards. Big Mac. Acres. All right, there's a second hit. A relic of Trevor Story. At least it's a color relic. I always like when they have the color as opposed to the white or gray swatch. Story's had a nice year. Sunny Gray Mini. And we got the Blue Shark. Randy Johnson, Zach Wheeler, Robin Yount, Candelario, Guriel, Gavin Lux, mini rookie of Basebi. There's a nice Ken Griffey Jr. I haven't really decided uh, what I'm going to do yet with Ginter this year. I'll probably toss a few pages. The last few years, I've just gone through and picked out some of my favorite uh, players and such and just Tossed them in a binder. There's a nice Seeger, Blackman, Andrew McCutcheon. Caldwell, 47. And another Cockatoo. This is fun to rip. Fun to go through. Bagwell, Glass Now, Pache, Bogarts. Vladdy Jr., Perez, Mini Andre Dawson, and a Ben Zobrist. Historical hits. Brian Anderson, Bob Gibson, Kim, Reggie Jackson as an athletic, Ricky Henderson, DeGrom, got a Mini, Barry Zito. Humpback Whale rallying back. There are definitely all sorts of random like oddballs you can get. Um, glossies and the wood parallels is Joey Bart, Clark Schmidt, Hewer, Shohei, Mo Vaughn. Man, we haven't seen him in a while. Look at those Angels uniforms. The Disney infused Angels uniforms, man. 
is a mini Jimenez, the black border. Jose Altuve. Vita Blue, Garcia, Johnny Bench, Quintana, Ivan Rodriguez is a Marlin, Marcus Stroman is a Ty Cobb Mini, and a Cherry Tree. By the way, the odds I like to show off, base short prints 1 and 2, so very easy to get those black borders look like they're generally two per box no numbers allen and ginter backs a lot of different parallels you can get the woods the metals stained glass a lot of very tough pulls but very cool andres ortiz kirby pocket how sweet is it to see kirby pocket in on a ginter card bissinger Campusano, Carrasco, Mini Acres, and an Ortiz. Historical hits. All right. Final third. Final eight packs. We'll start from the bottom. I feel like those hits have been towards the top of the box. So we'll see. There's Mike Trout. Brickley. David Wright. Mountcastle. Ken Griffey Jr. Man, this pack's loaded. Todd Helton, Caldwell, four, and a Stan, the man, usual. I like when they use these cards in some of the archive signature series repacks. Is Tatis, Jim Tome, the young Garcia Para, Smith, Randall Cunningham. Honestly, surprised they can get away with that much of the Eagles jersey, but that's a cool-looking card. It's got the Ginter back, too. And we got the Bird. I know Trevor Lawrence has a card in here as well. Alec Bohm, rookie. Lang Cabrera. At four ninety nine, as of the recording of this video, not baseball collector, Blyer, Dave Roberts. This card, so cool, but so wish, so wish they'd have him in his Phillies gear. Dick Allen had a great career, potential Hall of Famer, could get in. But man, I wish his Ginter was in a Phil's uniform. Tops has been going heavy on the White Sox Dick Allen cards lately. He's had two Project 70 cards, both as a White Sox. Definitely did some great stuff with the White Sox. But would love to see him in the Phil's uniform, where he's probably best known overall. Willie Mays. Bubik, Carlson, Brock, Keller, Campanella, very cool. Gonzalez, got a mini of Jeff Bagwell. We got the Whale Shark. I could see that shark set having uh, some collectability. A lot of people love their sharks. All right, Bobby Dahlback. Rojas, Sixto Sanchez, Kyle Tucker, Jimenez, Edgar Martinez, Lou Bob Mini, nice looking card. We got Babe Ruth. Nice Babe Ruth insert. Three packs to go. What will the last hit be? Can we get an auto? Or will we settle for another relic? Something big, bigger and cooler would be awesome too, but I never expect it. A nice Joe Maurer, the Rocket, Cronenworth, Goldschmidt, Mini Clemens. We got the White Spruce as well. All right, two packs. Final two packs. 
Grandal, Babe Ruth, Sanchez, Caprian, Castillo, Zach Gallen. The mini fedora hat, what you've all been waiting for. Hats off, the fedora. This is a nice looking set. All right, final pack. We'll see what we got here. It is a framed, so it could be an auto, could be a relic, but it is a frame. The others were full card, so let's see what we got. We got Sanchez. Who the hell is Sanchez? Jesse Sanchez, uh, reporter. Reporter for the Rangers. Eloy, who's back and playing well. Calhoun. Andres Galarraga. Autograph, so I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. It's Kyle Schwarber as a Cub who played with the Nationals and the Red Sox this year. It's not going to be the biggest hit. I'm sure it's not a real expensive card, but it's cool. Do not have Schwarber on an Allen Ginter, so that's one that will fit into the collection. So I'm happy with it. You know, I'm sure he would not be the very top of my list for sure if I had the checklist in front of me but he surely wouldn't be all the way at the bottom either so Kyle Schwarber autograph so nice little hit there Kyle Schwarber we got the hammerhead shark and we got the mini of Joe Adele so not a bad mini Joe Adele playing pretty well so that's it. That's a look at 2021 Allen and Ginter. One hobby box will net you a stack of cards like that, pile of trash like that, and some inserts. You get one mini per pack, so you end up with 24 minis, an array of inserts and base with some parallels. You'll get your inserts. Sharks and trees and legends. And birds, some Hall of Famers, and then you get your hits. So my hits were a relic of Pardo, Trevor Story, and an autograph of Kyle Schwarber. Comment below. Let me know what you think of Alan and Ginter, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.